But first, back in court, the man charged with killing six-year-old Isabel Celis and 13-year-old Maribel Gonzalez. Investigators say Christopher Clements had stacks of confidential reports on people normally restricted to law enforcement. His lawyers argue things were illegally seized from his jail cell in Maricopa County. And that helped investigators in the Celis case. And on your side, Craig Smith joins us live from Phoenix. Craig. Now, the search warrant served on Clement's cell here was to gather evidence in the murder cases, including possible photos of the Sellers family house. But it came out today he had more than 100 pages of confidential information on people, right down to their social security numbers. And those sorts of reports are restricted to law enforcement only. Now, Clements as in, and his attorneys contend when Maricopa County detectives searched his cell at the request of Tucson police, the searchers took too much and examined information that would compromise the burglary case he faces here in Maricopa County. They want Judge Susanna Pineda to bar that information from his burglary trial. Most of the morning was testimony from now retired Detective Jan Butcher. An attorney from Maricopa County ran through every document in what is called Clement's legal box and got the detective to swear she was unable to see anything relevant to the burglary case. You testified that you did not read any handwritten notes found in the legal box during the search warrant execution on June 28, 2018, correct? That is correct, I did not. Now, later it came out that Clement's legal box included a large stack of confidential background documents on people. They are the sort of reports meant for law enforcement only. Now, back here live, it was not discussed how Clements was using those reports, but detectives determined none of the names matched anyone among Clements' alleged victims. Now, because this issue arose over a warrant that in the Tucson murder cases, it could still have a bearing on whether evidence could be used in that case. Now, Clements is due in Pima County on Monday for hearings in those murder cases. Reporting live at the Maricopa County Courthouse, Craig Smith, KGON 9, on your side. Craig